Hi, welcome back to Pragmatic Agility. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at using email within a Laravel application. Laravel is a popular PHP framework. In fact, I think it's the most popular framework for PHP, and there's a good reason for that. Laravel comes with a lot of baked-in goodies that make difficult concepts much more easy to implement. And one of those concepts that is easier to implement is email. So let's take a look at how we would do that in a Laravel application. So I'm at, in a terminal at the root of the project and I'm going to issue a PHP artisan command make mail and I'm going to call that mail mail test mail created successfully now that's going to create a file in the mail directory with the name that I gave it and this is a template for the mailable object that Laravel uses and I know I'm going to need a user object so I'm going to go ahead and say public user and in the constructor we're going to receive a user object user user so in the column code we are going to pass in a user object so we're going to say if this user the user of the object is going to become the passed in user equals user and I have some other mail that I've already designed, so I'm going to go ahead and copy a little bit of this out of there. And I'm going to use the default convention of using a view to format the email. Let me get rid of this. So we already have this user email, so this is going to be sent to the user's email. And we're going to say this is an email test for the subject and I'm going to name the markdown or the view test I haven't made that yet but I'm going to and we're going to send the user object into that view and this markdown keyword is making sure that Laravel correctly interprets the code in that view and applies it to the email so this is pretty much done short easy and to the point let's go make that view and I'm just going to copy one of the ones that I have. And I'll have this code available for download as well. I'm going to go ahead and name this just test. Cancel that. I'm going to change it a little bit because we're not going to be sending a verification token. Go ahead and change this to this has been a test. Send this to this has been a test as well. I currently have my email hooked up to an SMTP server, but a good way to test to make sure the email is working is to not even hook any of that up no SMTP server, no uh, APIs. Go into your environment, uh, environment file and change the mail driver to log. And what this will do is put the results of that of Laravel generating that email into the log file and once you see that that's successful you know that you've successfully set up the email and then you can worry about linking up your API or your SMTP server so let's go look at how we'll call this code I'm gonna go into one of my controllers my user controller and you probably would never do this but I'm gonna link it into my index of users so I'm just need one user so I'm gonna say users first using some of that Laravel magic and I'm gonna go copy one of my email calls from the other functions that I have just to make sure I get it right and uh, there's some extra things going on here like the retry and the try catch but we're not gonna worry about that we're just showing how to send email here so mail send new app mail resend verification that's one of my other mails the resend verification so I need to change this to mail test and in this mail test I'm passing in this user so I'm making this function call to mail send which is going to instantiate this object pass in that user assign it to the local user of that object and then return a, a send sending of the email call now there's more magic going in the background in fact 
we can take a little look, a little bit of a look at some of that magic by going to the de declaration of mailable. So this is the object that the mail test is uh, depending on to do a lot of its uh, uh, function. And you can see there's a lot of complexity going on here that we don't have to deal with. We don't have to worry about this. We get to worry about it on this level, which is much more simple to look at and real and understand exactly what's going on. So let's go ahead and give this a test. So when I go to the index of the users, I should see an email generate in the logs. And it's empty right now. And send. Okay, so got the results back. I'm working on an API version of a Laravel application. That's why it's not your standard web return. But it's the same thing. I'm going through a controller route. And there's our results of the, of the log file catching the email. So we can see the subject. This is an email test. So with this, we can be confident that Laravel is correctly utilizing that email object. And from here, we could link up a API for sending email or an SMTP server. Now we'll leave that for another lesson though. Um, this, is a, this has been a short lesson on how to generate a mailable object more easily, call it from a, a controller route, and send it on its way. Anyways, if you enjoyed this lesson, please give it a like or subscribe. I appreciate your time. Thanks.